We've had energy storage in the United Kingdom since the mid-1960s or so, in the shape of pumped hydro. But in the 1960s, we didn't have a huge proliferation of uh, intermittent renewable energy sources. What we don't really want to do is build loads of extra fossil plants to be able to fill in the gaps. What we'd like to do is save up a bit of that renewable energy and use it in the gaps. And uh, that's what you get if you have a lot of storage. And we need a lot of it thousands and thousands of megawatts of it. Energy storage needs to be long duration, it needs to be cheap, it needs to be scalable and flexible, and it needs to be environmentally friendly. The problem with pumped hydro is it's limited to where you can get access to high mountainous areas for the, uh, the reservoirs, so that makes it quite geographically constrained. The new solutions coming through don't really scale too well or they become too expensive. If you need to double the amount of energy you get out of a battery system, you just have to buy another battery, linearly increasing the cost. Highview system offers that pumped hydro type of scale and functionality exactly where it's required. Liquid energy storage uses liquid air as the storage medium. We use electricity to drive a big industrial refrigerator that takes air, which we clean up in the process, and turns it into a liquid, which we keep in a tank. Where we want the power back, we add a bit of heat, which can just be from the environment, to the cryogenic liquid air. Uh, that evaporates and expands back into ordinary air. And that expansion drives a generator, which turns our stored energy back into electricity. The energy content is defined by the size of the tanks. Our view system is just about the cheapest there is in terms of marginal cost of energy storage. It doesn't use gas resources, it doesn't have any toxic components, it doesn't produce any emissions, so it's the perfect kind of technology to go alongside the broad deployment of renewables. Highview system is a large-scale, long-duration system, national grid type of installations, and at large generating stations, and at large industrial customers, but also the interface of the distribution system with the transmission system. Highview system is a true long duration system and that means it can deliver its energy for the full duration of the uh, electricity peak, uh, which is generally considered to be at least four hours and uh, it could be significantly longer. Right across the world people have demand profiles and uh, where there's a demand profile you can integrate electricity storage alongside other generation sources to uh, smooth out how the generation is being used. So uh, we see uh, a, a huge global market for our, our system. We have to be able to build the system where it's required. It's very easy to deploy. It uh, comes in modular pieces, so it doesn't have to be the same shape. It just needs air, uh, which is all around us, and electricity supply. I've worked in the electricity industry since the 1970s. This is probably one of the most important things I've done. It will allow the deeper penetration of renewables into electricity systems, which will help with the broader deployment of carbon-free electricity.